The following is a production of the Dallas Genealogical Society. For more information, please visit our website at www.dallasgenealogy.org. <laughs> All right. Good morning, everybody. Well, as always, thank you for being here. Uh, maybe it was a little more exciting for some getting here today. Um, and it's still exciting for some on the way. Um, our speaker, Patty, is close, but fighting traffic and weather a little bit. So we may have a little intermission after the business part of the meeting and, and uh, getting her set up and ready to go. But we're optimistic, right? Right. All right. Well, I do want to thank that we have a couple guests today. Um, so thank you, whoever you are, for coming. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about what the society is about through the course of the meeting. But if you have questions or, or uh, just want to chat with somebody, most of us have these uh, badges on that just kind of let you know we're, uh, we're part of the board or volunteers. So we'll go ahead and get started. Okay. So we do have quorum. Again, thanks to everybody for coming. I will mention that um, next month is election month, so that's a very important meeting to have uh, the, the minimum required quorum and as many people as we can get. So think about that for the main meeting as well, but thanks for being here today. Okay, our previous minute, minutes from uh, March are posted on the website, they're posted on the door as well. Are there any corrections, questions, additions? All right, hearing none, we will consider the minutes from March approved. Thank you. <laughs> Travis uh, is, is not going to be here in time for the meeting, so he has given me the information. I'll read that out. So this is the cash report for the month of March 2019. We have total deposits in the amount of $4,177, total payments of $1,387, for a net increase in cash of $2,790. Our cash uh, in the bank, we started at $115,062 and ended up at $117,852. This is a, uh, we're, we're gearing up for the seminar, so I suspect a lot of those deposits are, are from the seminar. Any questions, comments? All right. Hearing no changes, we will uh, we will consider this approved and add it to the audit. All right. I would like to have Susan Younger come up, talk a little bit about our publications committee work. And there you go. Okay. Good morning. I'm Susan Younger, director of publication content. I think is what is my uh, title right now. And we have a committee uh, composed of uh, Terry O'Neill, Barbara Ware, Kathleen Murray, Susan Rainwater, Tony Hansen, and myself. We are in the process of reviewing the procedures and policies and, and processes Dallas, Geneal uh, Dallas Society does to publish something. And publication nowadays means a little differently than it did a few years ago when it was all done in paper. So we are reviewing th those, those processes and we will submit a report to the board and when we approve the changes, we will then advertise and let you know what those changes are. In the meantime, we've had a very successful last couple of months and have added uh, several items to our website and I hope that you're getting the newsletter because at that point in the newsletter we're advertising when something gets posted to our website. So the first thing I want to point out as far as a publication is our blog. Well, there we go. All right. The blog is a way for us to communicate uh, things pretty quickly uh, in addition to an e-blast but you will find shorter articles here or newsworthy items uh, such as uh, announcements. We had an announcement here of a special meeting uh, with Kelvin Myers. Once it, once it was over, it, it came down. But we are posting smaller, shorter articles here. And uh, please check with this. There is not a scheduled uh, publication uh, 
a, a schedule for publication. It's when we have something here. But the blog does have some really nice things there. The most important thing to talk about is over here under publications. We have added uh, two more categories. And let me go back here. The first category is articles. And we hope to build a library of articles here that will be of, of uh, importance to you and a way for you to come back and uh, use it as a reference. Our first article is by uh, Lamora Hyder, and she's a, a member. And so we thank her for being the kind of the guinea pig and <laughs> our, our first uh, effort here to start the articles. And we hope to find have you hope you'll be able to find a lot more here in the near future. The next thing is the box truck papers. And I hope you all uh, are aware that um, we received Lloyd Boxtruck's personal papers and decades of genealogical research. And there's been a work group that's been working on those. We'll tell you more about those in the future. But we have digitized two uh, categories within his papers. You remember all those bibliographies he used to hand out? Well, those, that were, those bibliographies that we found in his papers, we have digitized, and now there's a list of well over 30 here. If you happen to have a copy of a bibliography that's not on here and would like to share it, either loan it to us or give it to us, we could then digitize it and add it to this list. But all those years of, of bibliographies are now here on this page, as well as Lloyd's Hereditary and Lineage Society applications. There's well over 40 <laughs> here. Some of them he was a, an honorary member of, but when he actually made an application and had backup papers, and those were in his papers, we digitized those. So there is genealogical material here uh, on Lloyd's family. All right. The next section, I'm gonna skip over the cemeteries, but under other publications, we have a long list and growing, and recently, two of our members, Shirley Sloat and Ed Millis, generously allowed us to publish, to digitize and publish uh, two of the books that they had done. The Historical List of Justices of the Peace is by Shirley, and the Trinity Farms in El Rancho Grande Cemetery is by Ed Millis. And so a, a PDF copy of their entire books are now out here and available for everyone to see and use. The next publication that we're looking at is an ongoing project that DGS has to enter burials, uh, to, to create, we have a database of burials and cemeteries in Dallas County. And this is thanks uh, in big part to Barbara Ware and Tony Hansen for the, the technology behind it. But currently, we have, I think it's 34 cemeteries that we have, and it's fully searchable, and uh, information about burials in those 34 uh, cemeteries. Barbara is now working on a 35th. Linnell Moss very graciously agreed to let us post into our database the work she had done on the Bennett Cemetery. That will be another 476 names to go into our database, along with some history of it. Uh, that should appear in our list in the next couple of months. And so thanks to Linnell for allowing us to use her work. Uh, we have a cemetery map that Barbara has put together. And this is what we think is a Fairly, uh, look here, let me get this down a little more. It's a fairly comprehensive list, and if we go up and click on this little button here, it will give us the uh, alphabetical list of the cemeteries that we know about in Dallas County. All right, so here's where we need your help. If you know of a cemetery that's not on the list, 
kind of check the location. Cemeteries are often known by different names over the years. They will change. So if you know of a, a name or a, a cemetery that's either by a different name or a cemetery that's not on the map, please let me know. I will give you my contact information. Let me know or let Barbara Ware know and we can add it to this or we can add information about a different name. If you've done some work on a cemetery and would be willing to share that with us and allow us to add that to our database, contact me or Barbara Ware and we can keep this database growing, especially for the smaller cemeteries. It's not likely you'll have done the, you know, one of the big laurel lands or something. But if you've got that work in your papers, if you've got an article that you've written, if you've got a book that you've written and would want to share, please contact me. And the way to contact me, oops, well, it's, I just, let me go. I'm sorry. How do I get back to? Let me grab the mouse first. Sorry. 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 <laughs> it will be under uh, the on the D, uh, DGS webpage under Home and the Society Leaders. And we'll let it pull up here. Under publication content, if you click on Susan Younger, that will get you my DGS email. Uh, we also have a way to contact us up here. So think about what you may have in your uh, paperwork, and if there's anything you're willing to share on Dallas County or the North Texas area, please contact me, and we would love to let you join the ranks of Ed and Shirley and Linnell and the work that, that Barbara's done. Any questions? Yes. It looks like you're just working on Dallas County now. Well, we well, I mean, the mission statement says Dallas County and North Texas area. So, but as as we do the as the publication content, the publication committee works, we will expand that to talk about methodology or perhaps archives that you joined. If you've got something you want to publish, talk to me about it and let's see if it's a good fit for what we're trying to do. Yes. Uh, I helped transcribe in a uh, Excel spreadsheet a cemetery. Would you take that information? Yes, we would. <laughs> and we love Excel spreadsheets. <laughs> we would, surely. Having attended a whole lot of Lloyd Boxstrup's lectures, one of the things you cried for was to keep copies of those maps he used and followed here. And I know from personal experience, he used the same map for a lot of different lectures. And my question for you is, did you capture some of those maps in the collection? The collection has the maps. Digitizing them is, a, is another matter as far as there's copyright issues. But we do have the maps within the collection and it will be available for you to go and look at. Yeah, and that, that work is, is in progress and uh, we've turned, basic, turned it over to the library and they're in the process of doing the cataloging and all the behind scenes, so we're close. I'll be, all right, thank you very much. All right, thank you very much. That is, it's very exciting, um, you know, a big part of uh, the mission, as, as Susan mentioned, is preserving our history, and, and it's, it's really great to see new content coming all the time. So thank you. Thank you guys for, for kicking us off with some of those articles. All right. So I'd like to welcome up Jim, our vice president, to talk a little bit about the seminar. Seminars. Good morning, everyone. Thank you all for coming up this morning. Oops, I keep on getting these buttons mixed up. Um, in one week from today, we are going to have Michael Lacapo is going to be here speaking to us about methodology. Um, registration is still open. Registration online will be open through Wednesday. So I would encourage you, if any of you would like to come to that, and we would welcome anybody to uh, go ahead and register for that. 
that everything is going um, according to plan, and I think it's going to be a good seminar. We've got almost 100 people registered so far, so we've got room for 70 more of you. So everybody go register when we get through. Um, and again, we could not do this by ourselves, and I'm very, very heartened to see that on, on our volunteer page, it's almost full, which is kind of a, a new thing for us. Um, what we do have <laughs> for volunteers, <laughs> the, 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 they're all filled in. They have all, well, we do have some openings for is hospitality. Now, we have a hospitality director, and is Tammy in here anywhere? <laughs> Tammy, Tammy, stand up, Tammy. Tammy Garrett is our hospitality director, and she has this all planned out and all under control, so you don't really have to do anything to when you volunteer for hospitality except just stand there and help people, and I think we, any of us can do that. So if you would like to go ahead and volunteer for those few spots that are left, go on our webpage, go to the Get Involved link, and it'll show you how to fill that out. Then. Um, coming August 3rd, we have Judy Russell coming to us for our next seminar after that. The registration for that will be open the week after the, the seminar on the 13th, so keep that in mind if, if you would like to come to that. She's going to be talking about um, researching in the courthouses, which is a very, very interesting subject and, and not only interesting, but it's a, it's a very, very neat experience to go into one of those courthouses and to go through those records that your ancestors left there. So um, we're looking forward to that. And that is all I have. Great. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. Thank you very much. Um, those seminars are, uh, are awesome. It's a lot of work. So not only the volunteers signing up, but, but Jim and the crew that's helping have been doing a great job. So thank you. All right. I would like to welcome up Tony, Tony Hansen, um, to talk about our officers. So. So I'm going to stand off to the side here and let him have access to the computer. So first of all, I'd like to thank the nominating committee. Uh, I was the, had the honor of chairing this. Kathy Dempsey, Liz Coots, Gail Bush, and Carolyn Simpson, and I were the, the duly appointed and authorized nominating committee. And I'm happy to report that uh, we have done a good job, we think. So I'd like to announce the slate of officers, our executive committee for 2019-2020, which will be voted on at next month's meeting. Hey, you're blocking me out, man. <laughs> And that doesn't work. Okay, so for President Susan Younger, Vice President Jim Thornhill is going to continue in that position. For Secretary Gayla Bush, a really welcome addition. And Susan Rainwater has agreed to reprise as our treasurer. <laughs> Not without some payment, though. I did have to uh, <laughs> concede to agree to. <laughs> to take over as webmaster to free her up so she would do that. But I'm really excited about the slate of officers. Todd, of course, is going to continue in the position of, of past president. So I think we have a really strong board and show up Sunday and let's get like 150 people voting for him to show them how excited we are about having them. So my thank you to the people who agreed to this. I'm really excited working with you, about working with you and so grateful for your commitment to uh, continuing to help run this great society. So thank you, everybody. This is outstanding. Thank you to the committee uh, for putting together a, a wonderful candidate slate. This is very exciting. Okay. Um, so I, I mentioned at the beginning, we, we talk a little bit about what the society does. Um, a lot of it is focused on education. We just talked about some of the preservation work that we're doing. We also, in addition to these meetings, which happen monthly, and the seminars, which happen three times a year, we have uh, special interest groups, and you can find all of these with specific dates, times, and locations on the website. We just put a snapshot up here that shows what's coming up in April. Um, you can kind of read through these. These are the, um, the seven that we have uh, happening in April. Um, I'll let these kind of sit up here for a second if we want to bring up Liz, who has a, a little announcement for us. Well, for those that didn't know what brown bag meant, we are changing our names. Uh, we want to be called the best practices group beyond the basics. What we do in our group is we take one subject a month. Right now we're looking at doing early land 
and uh, learn uh, how to deal with early land deeds and how to transcribe them and everything that goes with that problem. And the second thing we do is we design systems or uh, let's say programs to help us file our genealogy things, our program. Uh, one of the things I have done in the past few years, and my people that's in the group, by the way, how many brown beggars have we got here? I think I got about five. And anyway, uh, is digital asset management. And uh, Lamora kept kicking me and uh, I answered the question they were talking. Oh, why well, would you just use a Chicago manual style? And anybody that's been in genealogy any length of time understands that that's our sales sheet. Well, I came up with a whole system of how you could keep your uh, digital files using the Chicago manual styles. And I, at some point, will bring that to the genealogical society. Anyway, uh, uh, all skill levels are invited now. You do not have to be an advanced member, but I know that first couple of meetings you're gonna sit there and say, huh? But that's okay. Uh, we love you anyway, we want you to come. So uh, we meet the fourth Saturday of the month at 10.30 in the McNearment Room. Thank you. Best practice group, practices. All right, we will get all of the names updated and start calling it the best practices group. Yes. I just want to kind of add to Liz's, uh, what she's talking about, is with the brown bag group, um, we take different topics and kind of do a deep dive into that. So basically we kind of, at the beginning of each year, we, we kind of pick out what kind of topics we're going to be looking at that year or the next few months. So when Liz is talking about early land records, which is what we're studying right now, uh, previous things that we've talked about are women and genealogy of women and the law. We've talked about writing. Uh, we've done reviews of uh, articles from the NGSQ. So it, it, it changes. Uh, the, the topics of our discussion changes. And so what we may be doing right now may not be necessarily uh, what you're doing in your own research, but we may dive into a topic that is directly related to what you're working at. So, you know, what we're working on at a particular time is not of your interest. Check in with us because, again, we do change that topic of discussion, you know, it's every six months or every year or so. Gotcha. And remind me, is are the, all those topics listed on the web for the year? I don't think not. No, not. Okay. Because nobody told me. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you if you if you guys have built out the list, um, definitely definitely share it. We'll get it updated so people can be looking ahead as well. So great, thank you. All right, I want to I want to take just a minute. Um, you know, April's Volunteer Month, National Volunteer Month, and. Um, We've said this many times. Um, I think Tony and Jeff, everybody that's come up here has, has said something about volunteers. Um, this organization is powered by volunteers. And uh, I just want to take a quick minute. So if you guys have volunteered, if, you've, if you're, uh, you know, everything from being on a board, being on a committee, donating your, your articles, just raise your hand. This is, this is, this is fantastic. If you if you've volunteered at an event, thank you. Let's just give each other a, a round of applause. Well, I may have who isn't a volunteer and I'm going to come get you. <laughs> yeah, we, we <laughs> not, not yet. Very nice. Well, I, again, thank you for, for volunteering. This organization only works through uh, the, the great people that we have. If you're interested in positions, uh, you have a skill that you think could, could be valuable or a fun thing you want to do, just let one of us know. So thank you very much. Enjoy this month because it's for you. Okay, I would like to invite up Patty to introduce our speaker for the day. 
This has been a presentation of the Dallas Genealogical Society. If you're already a member, thank you. Your membership dues are supporting this and other society activities. If you're not yet a member, I hope you consider joining. You can become a member for as little as $35 a year, and you can join by going to our website, dallasgenealogy.org, and clicking on the Membership tab.